Welcome to the second training video of Ping Kaching. If you just stumbled across this video, I recommend you first go to www.challenge.co where you can see the first part of this video and see a whole bunch of other free training videos on how to build an online business. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to actually get down and use Ping Kaching software. In the last video, we showed you how to install it, how to access it, and what really the software was for. Without any further ado, let's hop over to a screen recording, and I'm going to show you how to get down and start applying Ping Kaching's functions into your online business so you can see great results. Go ahead and launch the Ping Kaching application. Once you've launched the application and logged in, we need to first set up the software before we can use it. Pinkaching is not a spam tool, and all the submissions Pinkaching makes are completely natural, and that's because we use your IP and your accounts. Now, some of the sites that we submit to do require accounts, and you need to enter those into the software before we can continue. So, to do this, we need to go to the settings page and then click the accounts tab on the right hand side. And as you can see, since you've just started, you have no accounts loaded in this area. It's a big white space. So what we need to first do is add a profile. And what a profile is, uh, is a set of accounts. So you might have multiple niches. You might have a niche on bananas, accordions, w weddings, you know, whatever your niche is, each niche might have its own set of accounts. So first let's label a profile. And for this, um, for this I'm going to use the Ping Kaching site itself. That's the niche I'm going to promote. So I'm going to create a profile name of Ping Kaching. So you can see now I have a profile named Ping Kaching. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to add in all the accounts that I have related to Ping Kaching. So my Yahoo bookmarks, my Google bookmarks, my Dig, my Reddit, my StumbleUpon, these are all names of websites that Ping Kaching submits to. So if you have this information available in a spreadsheet or, or in a Word document, you can simply select the sites. Let's like select Facebook. We click Add New, and then you can see it enters information down below. So we would enter a username and a password and for our Facebook fan page, uh, Facebook, we'd enter the fan page name as well. So this is what we would do. We would continue to add in all the sites so the software has as many different sites to submit to as possible. Now for a lot of people, you'll already have all this information in all these accounts. So this will be very simple. And once you enter a username and password, you simply click the check button to make sure that your information entered is correct. However, for people who are new to these sites or who are starting a new niche and may not have accounts, we have a solution for that as well. For people who don't have accounts, click the Plugins drop-down and then go to our Account Creation tool. This is a tool that has a lot of power and we could talk about it for a long time. So I won't be able to cover everything in this video. For a full suite of information about this feature, just simply click the video training icon in the bottom right hand corner once you reach this page. But for now we're going to just show you how to create accounts. First select the select websites tab and we have Pinkaching here and we're going to select which sites we want to create accounts on. So for this example I'm just going to do dig. Uh, you of course would select all of these so you could create accounts as many sites as possible. But just for this example I'm using dig. Then enter in your profile information. Okay I have entered in my information then next I go to the bio page uh, and you can see sometimes bio isn't required for dig. Uh, I don't need to enter any bio information but some sites you may need to. So you can see a green done check mark was put over here and we'll continue on to the last step. Now what the software will do is we'll take you to each site you selected um, and they'll pre-fill in all the fields that it can. So as you can see it entered in my email address, my desired username and password. All that's left for me to do is enter the CAPTCHA which I'm going to do right now. Hopefully I got that right. Um, and then uh, I'm going to click create account. 
So you can see the account was successfully created. Now if we had multiple accounts created, it would automatically take us to the second site. Um, and it tells you which site you're on in the bottom left hand corner. And to verify that this information was entered, we can go up to the settings page. And you can see right here under dig, the username and password was entered correctly. And uh, everything was created for me. Just that simple. The tool has extremely powerful, that is an extremely powerful feature. And I'm going to just click check to make sure that everything was okay. Now I'm going to skip ahead here a bit and I'm going to fill in all my information of uh, my profiles that I already have. Okay, so I've uploaded all my accounts related to this niche. Um, which is what you will do as well, either through adding them manually or using the account creation tool. So now that I have all my accounts entered, the next step is to start using the software for my niche to start promoting uh, and driving some authority and getting our content indexed. So to do that, let's head on over to the Manage Projects page and add our first project. You can see there is no projects down below. And think of projects like folders, like a folder on your desktop. Um, and this folder or a project is going to contain all the URLs and backlinks related to that niche. So since I'm going to be promoting Ping Kaching with the software today, I'm going to create a new project called Ping Kaching. And as before, you're going to select the profiles that you set up. So I want to sub have a uh, all the URLs submitted to my Ping Kaching accounts that we just set up, or in your case, whatever niche name. Then we go to the next tab and we enter some very generic keywords. This is just going to help you save typing in the future. So basically try to think of some keywords that are going to follow with you on every blog post you make. And for me that would be very simple, be things like Ping Kaching, social bookmarking software, uh, SEO software, and those are some pretty generic terms. Next we go to the directory category page. However, directory submissions are disabled for your trial version of Pinkaching, so right now you could actually skip this step um, and could come back to it at a later time when you upgraded the software. We'll go to the social bookmarking category page and I'm going to select uh, just technology that applies to mine and business as well. And then lastly we go to pen name. Some people who are doing niches don't want their real name published so just paste in whatever um, pen name you want associated with your niche. For me my name is just fine and then enter in a email address to accompany your submissions. This is really important you enter in a email address that's valid and an email address that you will check because sometimes a confirmation email is, needs to be clicked and so on and so forth. However, I don't use my primary email address because we do so many submissions, especially when you start doing directory submissions, that that email address can be flooded with um, confirmations and it's something you only really need to check once a week. So enter in a valid email address that you will check once a week. For me, I'm uh, just going to skip this step for now. And there we go, we have our first project. So this is now what you're going to see on the Manage Projects page. And you could have a lot of projects. You could have Pinkaching, Wedding Site, uh, you know, Fruit, whatever, whatever your niches are, you can add them all here. So now that we have a project, let's start promoting the websites and backlinks that relate to that niche. So for me, I'm going to double click Ping Kaching, which you can see has entered me inside the Ping Kaching project or Ping Kaching folder. It's a slightly different looking screen. And this is the page where we can actually add new URLs. So let's go through the process of adding in our first website. First thing you're going to do is label it with a title. And this is just for your reference. So for me, I'm going to do PK for Ping Kaching homepage. Then you enter in the URL address of your homepage and what you do next is this fetch metadata button will appear. What this is going to do is once it's clicked is it's going to go and grab in all that metadata that's on your website. So this is going to fill in the title, description, keywords, and RSS URL all for me. 
So I'm just going to click Save. And now uh, this page is done. The title page is done. You can modify these if you wish because uh, sometimes your metadata isn't 100% uh, accurate on what you would want published onto the web. But for me, these all look really well. It has all the different spellings of Pinkaching, all the keywords I want. Everything is taken care of. So the last step for me to do would be to go to the Submissions button at the very, very end. Once you've clicked the Submissions tab, it's going to take you to a page like this. And for your home page that you've just entered into the software, all submission types should be available except for directory submissions. Now, simply click on one of these features, and you're going to want to run through each feature and do all the available submissions. So here's my status updater. I'm going to click the Submit button. Once all these are selected, I'm going to click Submit. And then once, once those are actually submitted, I'm going to hop over to the next feature, Search Engine Submission, RSS Distribution, Social Bookmarking. And I'm going to run all these features and click the Submit button. And just like that, in a matter of a minute, you will have your website distributed out to all these different RSS aggregators, social bookmarking sites, uh, sites like Facebook, Twitter. Um, your information will be posted out everywhere. The search engines are going to find that information and index your website. Now, Pinkaching isn't just for your homepage, like Pinkaching.com. Every time you make a new blog post, you're going to want to enter that into Pinkaching as well. In fact, anytime you enter put out any content on the web, you want to enter that into Ping Ching. Whether it's a Xanga page, a Squidoo Lens, um, if you make a article somewhere, Ezine Articles, once that's published, you're going to want to enter that URL into Ping Ching as well. So let me show you what it might look like in the future. Go to the Manage Projects, and you can see here I have a lot of different niches. These are all some of my niches that I'm working on. So I'm going to go back to my Pinkaching, and you can see here I have a ton of URLs entered over time as well. Now I just briefly wanted to go over our available support options. We have lots of things available to you if you have any questions at any time. First of all, on each page of the software in the bottom right hand corner, there's a video training icon. Just click that button and it's going to take you to a page with a ton of information about that specific page. Uh, any questions at all, email us, support at pinkaching.com. This is going to be your ultimate spot to go. Uh, send us an email, and we're going to get back to you right away uh, with to answer any of your questions and get the support you need. On our homepage, uh, pinkaching.com, Monday through Friday, 16 hours a day, we offer live chat support where an agent would be happy to help you uh, with any questions you might have. And then we have a whole support page with FAQs, videos, screenshots, and all sorts of stuff at pinkaching.com forward slash blog forward slash support. Now there's a couple places uh, we don't recommend you going for support, and uh, that's you leaving a YouTube comment under this uh, video. Uh, questions over Facebook or Twitter. I mean, it's just too hard for us to give a accurate uh, response to your question in only 140 characters. Um, same with blog comments, that's just not going to be a very fast way to get your questions answered. And the challenge form itself. If you have any questions, um, we're just not going to be able to help you as quickly or as well if you go to any one of these places. And we have so many great support options available, available to you up above, so we really recommend that you try to stick with uh, one of the um, options listed here above if you want quick and quality support. And this concludes our training videos about Ping Kaching. I'd like to thank you for your time for watching these videos, and I can't wait for you to dive into using the software so you can experience the results Ping Kaching can offer to your online business. If you have any questions whatsoever down the line, don't hesitate to reach out to us, uh, and we'll be happy to help you with any questions you may have. I wish you continued success through your journey of this online training. Uh, the challenge is really a great course, and you're going to continue to learn a lot of information. Thank you so much.